visual. I see it all. Huh. All right. So, guys, Lena and Alani just look those terms up cryptocurrency, NFTs, metaverse. Looks like they had some some bumps in the road along the way. <laughs> they weren't too sure what they were looking at. Um, but I want to talk about it. So tell me a little bit in your own words what NFTs are. Let's start with uh, let's start with Alani. Okay. Go ahead, Alani. So what do you think so, NFTs are? Basically, I think NFTs are like pixel art that gets sold to people. So, wait, sell or sold? Sold. They get sold. So, that gets sold to people. Mm -hmm. And it's like worth like millions and millions of dollars. Could be. And I think that you have to, well, like for Bitcoin, I think you have to use, like you have to put a bin on it. And you can use your Bitcoins okay. like as if it was real money. But it's not real money. Okay. It's your Bitcoin. And I think you like, ha I think there's like a machine where you can pay to get like the the coins and then you can use them to put a bid on that pixel art and i think like from my point of view i think that's what it means sure and how about you lena what do you think nfts are um so basically what i think nft is is um it's like artwork and people um, buy that artwork yeah for worth a lot of money like thousands of dollars millions of dollars sure. and i think that's um so for the cryptocurrency mm -hmm. so um i think we had the same answers for most yeah most of the questions <laughs> but this one this one is different from a lot of so basically for cryptocurrency, like the Bitcoin and stuff, like when I saw the Bitcoins, I was like, hey, maybe they use the Bitcoins to buy the NFT artwork. Because yeah. Yeah, I saw that the cryptocurrency was like, had something to do with NFT. Mm -hmm. So That's a good observation. So yeah, you guys are right. So I like those really? definitions. So that's a good observation. So you use some cryptocurrency to buy the NFT art. That's how you buy them. Most places but you have to buy them with cryptocurrency. There are some places money. that let you use a credit card. Well, it is real money, but it's just different than a dollar. We're used to the dollar, right? Yeah. But cryptocurrency is different than dollars. So what, what it is with cryptocurrency, there's a contract behind it and it's all digital. So you could, you could access it through your computer, you could access it through your mobile phone, your tablet, things like that. And there's a contract behind it. It gets a little deeper than that. You might not exactly understand that, but that don't have to be on another episode. But um, I want to hear too, we talked about NFTs and what, you're, what you guys think it is in your own words, which was awesome. But I want to know if you guys remember what the definition of NFT is. Who remembers it? Um... You, you guys remember what it was? You guys read it a couple of times. Yeah. Go for it. Uh, so I think they said that NFT is like... Um, what did it stand for? It's... Um, oh! Yeah, what did it stand for? What is the, the letters N, F, T? What did it stand for? Yeah. Like, what does it actually it mean? Like non, non it was non-something. Non... You remember, because you said it a few times. Non, come on, come non, on, come on. Nope. Nope. Non it's NFT, so non. Non. Functional. Ah, close. Uh, fictional. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> it's non fungible token. Oh! <laughs> you guys remember now, right? Yeah. All right, cool. So that that's good definitions, though. So how about cryptocurrency? Tell me in your own words, really quick. Just um, just a quick little definition of what you think cryptocurrency, cryptocurrency is. Cryptocurrency is what helps you pay for for the um, NFT art. Mm -hmm. Okay. How about you, Lena? Um. So. Cryptocurrency is um like what Alani said. Like you use it to pay for the NFT art. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's a good that's a good example. So yeah, cryptocurrency could be used to purchase different things, and it's just like dollars, but we're able to buy different things online, and like, we're able to buy different things I, through the internet. I think it like helps you like getting the bitcoins to get the NFT. Sure, some some cryptocurrency could help you get bitcoin to get NFTs, and then you use different types of cryptocurrency. So there's not only bitcoin; there's different kinds. 
there's all kinds of different kinds it's just bitcoin is the most popular one you know so that's the one that everybody knows and how about metaverse oh, what's the metaverse, oh, metaverse like virtual, we have virtual reality, reality in video games and like and like okay. um like futuristic type of virtual reality thing. sure and sure. very realistic yeah so do you guys play anything that's kind of like it right now um uh, yeah well well i'm because well, it kind well, of reminds me a little bit. You guys, you guys Roblox? like to play exactly. So Roblox, like, yeah, they're not really like. It doesn't look like humans, but there is like thousands of games on there, and there's like role plays and obvious and like the role plays are very realistic because they um, let you do what a human can do in real life. Yeah. And there's also um, if you and so there's this particular. Particular, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> There's this particular game that I play called B- Brookhaven. What's what? I don't know what's going okay. on with you right now. <laughs> called Brookhaven, and it's very fun. And um, you can go to your backpack and you can edit your character. And basically, your backpack backpack has like food. It has um a flashlight in it, a computer. And also, yeah, phone. And you can also rob the bank. Literally, you can. There's and a bomb to rob the bank. There's guns. Yeah, there's guns. I didn't know you were playing these kind of games. No, no, no. It's With not, guns and it's bombs. Not, it's not that. <laughs> no, no, no. Banks. We no, it's not optional. Fun. It's optional. It's oh, fun. my goodness. It's, it's, it's very fun. And basically, the character is literally like a block. Well, mainly the guys are like a block, but the girl buddy is... Just like a stick and like a Lego hand kind of, mm-hmm. and then the head is like I don't know, it's like a weird bunch. Of- yeah. It's kind of like a square, but the corners are curved. Yeah, and I've yeah. seen I've seen you guys playing Roblox. You guys have been playing it for a while. Yeah, we've been couple playing years it, probably, right? Yeah, like probably yeah. since it's twenty. Yeah, like since last yeah. year. And and I remember seeing like there's a lot of different games inside of it, and then the main you know one is like you like you said you look like a little block, and you're you're different types of characters. You get to put different yeah. clothes on, different things like that, right? Different outfits. You go to different and places. What's cool is that like the clothes are like they're like trending like. Like the clothes are like the yeah. type of clothes that are trending right now in this yeah. generation. Like they have like ripped jeans, crop tops. Yeah. <laughs> they have yeah. Adidas shoes. Yeah, I love it's Adidas really shoes. Cool. You know that. You guys yeah. know it. It's really cool. And I I just like how like every time there's an update like for each holiday or like for each month like this time um now they have like a big border that says happy new year okay so it's really cool that's cool yeah. so so you guys were talking about the metaverse right nfts mm-hmm. cryptocurrency now do you think all three of those together like do you think they have yes. anything to do with each other yes. yeah. yeah yeah i think cryptocurrency and bitcoin are like they have something and to then do metaverse with each um i i like I just think like the virtual reality, like that's art. I feel that's like I feel like that's so a part of um, the NFT because yeah. it's like like virtual reality is like a game, and 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 I saw that the NFTs are like kind of like pixel, and there's games where yeah. it's like a pixel art. So mm-hmm. I think those are relatable, okay. and I think that the Bitcoin and the cryptocurrency are relatable. Awesome. Okay. Okay. So check this out. So my show. That you guys are on right now it's called i see web 3. now web 3 those three things that we looked up cryptocurrency nfts and the metaverse are a huge part of what web 3 is web 3 is different than what we know as web 2. you guys know web 2 you guys probably never heard the term but web 2 is what you guys do now on the internet you guys look things up and then you guys love to watch TikTok. you love to watch youtube you're seeing people create things right yeah. so that's web 2 people are creating and now in web 3 people are able to still continue to create and it transcends into web 3 where people are able to do things like be in the metaverse play games in virtual reality and also in the metaverse they're going to be able to do things like build a whole town build a game inside do things that they do 
outside yeah. in the real world in real life yeah, like, do them in the metaverse and then they're going to be able to have their nft art and different things like that in the metaverse and use things that they have as nfts oh, in yeah. the metaverse like if they make and a they house, all buy all this stuff with cryptocurrency if they make a house they can put the nft art in there yes yeah. exactly and actually like um when we were talking about roblox i forgot to mention that there's another game on Roblox where it's called Bloxburg, and you can like make like okay. a whole house. You can make a yeah. mansion. Nice. And then yeah, like you get one. yeah, yeah, but you need Robux for it. And Robux. Robux is like you have to pay to get the Robux. So it's kind of like having cryptocurrency. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Exactly. So yeah. imagine in the metaverse, you guys are playing a game, and you want to buy something. So you need some cryptocurrency to buy it, right? And then let's say you buy something and then you make your own character or you make your own game inside of the metaverse. And then people pay you stuff like Robux. They pay you cryptocurrency to go to your party or to go play your game or to go play, you know, whatever you have going on or go to your event. They could go to your concert in the metaverse. You could be a DJ in the metaverse and throw a party there. It's pretty cool. So it's Lots a lot of cool like stuff. Free guy, actually. Free Guy was a great example. When you pulled yeah, up Free Guy, I was like, okay, they're starting yeah. to make sense of it. I love when they did that. That was awesome. When you guys pulled up yeah. Free Guy, I was like, okay, it a makes lot. sense to them. Yeah, and you guys should watch it that yes. way. Like, yeah, you if guys you didn't know, watch it, watch it now. That way you watch guys now. know why we why we like brought that up because it's like such a good example of yes. Metaverse. Yeah, and it's good for kids and adults. I think everybody enjoyed it. Like, I went with my family. We all enjoyed it. We thought it was pretty good. It was yeah. funny, and it had some and a lot of cool elements and yeah. a lot of the things that we're talking about, right? Yeah, maybe they can comment on what was their favorite part in Free Guy. Yes, yes. It. If you guys watch yeah, Free Guy, guys, comment, comment down below. below. Please yeah. let us know what Please. your favorite part because we Cause have a bunch of favorite parts. I think parts. my favorite part is, is um, when... When he when he kissed the girl because I really wanted them to get together. <laughs> you love the the love story element yeah. of it, right? All right, so guys, let's wrap it up. All right, but what I want to do before we wrap it up is ask me a couple questions about the stuff that you researched or whatever we talked about. Anything that's on your mind that sticks out that you might want to know. So my question is why why is it that it all it all involves technology, not anything else? Hmm, that's a really good question. So technology is obviously a big part about all these things that we talked about. Cryptocurrency, NFTs, and the metaverse. All of Web3, right? And the main reason it's it's a big part of it is because you need all of these elements all need technology. Different things like you can't really use cryptocurrency unless you have a mobile phone or a tablet or a computer. And those are obviously three of our favorite tech devices that we all use every day right yeah. and you can't really use that you can't use cryptocurrency without that so as well as nfts you can't really buy an nft without those devices and without it being without it being connected to technology in some way and also the metaverse you can't use vr or go into your metaverse and play a game or start a town or anything like that if you don't have a computer, a tablet, or a cell phone or anything like that that's going to allow you to play those games. So that's why technology is a big part of it. But it's not the only thing because a lot of things that are going to be going on in the metaverse, people don't understand that they're going to be bringing them out into real life. It's just that the metaverse allows people to express themselves in a different way, especially it's awesome for artists and creatives because we're able to play games and do different things in the metaverse that we probably couldn't do in real life. And then once you bring them into real life, it just kind of adds like a more cool and exciting element to it. So it's, 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 it's exciting. Anything else? Any other question? Mm -mm. Is that it? I think it's cool because in games, you don't like if you die, then you come back to life. It's true. I mean, unfortunately, yeah, you can't do that. That's not gonna be what happened happen in real life, guys. Yeah. So, um, all right, cool. Well, that was awesome. I had a great time with you guys, and you know what? I think we're gonna need to do this again because this yeah. was fun. Um, I think I want to have you guys on my show again. So, and thank you for being yeah. here, Lena and Alani. You got any last words? And once we, start, <laughs> once we start our YouTube channel, you have to go check out our videos. They got too. a channel We're coming, starting guys. it too. And it's going to call The Z Twins. Z Twins. <laughs> what? So, can I officially say that I have the Z Twins as special guests on my show? Yes. Ooh, 
look out. Z Twins featured on IC Web 3. Exciting. All right, y'all. This is your host, Visual. I got the Z Twins, twins with me. Take it easy. Stay blessed. Peace. Bye. <laughs>